Hello friends, uh, I'm going to talk about forensic analysis with a win prefetch view tool from Zurich Bender Toolkit. So I need to open the tool, go to forensics, then win prefetch view, uh, which is a 64-bit, since my operating system is a 64-bit machine. Yeah, I'm trying to capture my screen here. Okay. Uh, this tool, it is a small process management utility for uh, reading the prefetch files stored in the Windows system and display the information stored in it. So let me try to open the Windows uh, the prefetch folder. So these are files and folders that are stored on uh, on the prefetch folder. As you can see here, we cannot actually see or we can actually read through or we cannot actually interpret these uh, uh, files and folders. But with um, pre Win prefetch view, we can actually see the details of these folders. So let me minimize this. And go back to my win prefetch view uh, it is uh, this this application is used to unearth uh, or find more details about the folders and files in the prefetch folder um, for example uh, each time an application is run in a system um, a prefetch file contains information about the files loaded by the application or is created by the windows operating system for example here we see here uh, there is an active presenter um, this is the application that was uh, run on this machine. Uh, it was created on 10, 9, on 9, 10, 2021. Uh, uh, sorry, it's 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 October 2021, 13.40. So by looking in these files, we can learn which files uh, every application is using and which files um, loaded on windows boot uh, the information on the prefetch file is used for optimizing the loading time of the application uh, the next time the application is being run again so in other ways i can simply say that um, this win preach fetch view is more of like um, a, no uh, the prefetch the prefetch folder is more like a catching area for for the application that if you run like almost like a, it works almost like a proxy server and whenever the application is being run again, it first referenced the prefetch folder and see if this file has been run, has been run or ran. Um, so, if the file has been has been has been opened or has been loaded into this machine, it will to look for the information in the prefetch folder. If the if the, if it is the first time to run this file, then it will go direct to the one to the application. Uh, it reads the information in the prefetch files stored in the system and it displays the information stores in them. As you can see here on this graphical user interface, um, we have got um, this Google Google Chrome uh, was launched um, on 1908, 19 August 2021. Um, we also have uh, uh, what it is this is the background tra transfer host active presenter this is the adobe file that was also loaded on this machine let me go down and check if you have other files um the run and dll um execution file was loaded into this machine Image uh, snipping two, snipping two was also loaded into this machine on 28 August 2021 around um, 19 past nine, and it was modified the same day. The file size is there, the process execution is there, the process path is also here, and the last runtime is here. So this is the inform the the tool that we can use to gather information about. Uh, the application that has been run on this uh, uh, on this machine. Um, thank you for taking your time.
to listen to this presentation.